Across Mississippi, more and more law enforcement agencies are requiring officers to use body cameras. Now, a national organization is asking the state to standardize how they use them. Earlier this week, the American Civil Liberties Union of Mississippi released a report. It highlighted what they call the lack of uniformity in body camera regulations. Our Joy Talley joins us live in the studio with more on that. The ACLU of Mississippi sent a Freedom of Information Act to 147 law enforcement agencies across the state to get the information for their report on local body camera policies. I went back to police departments earlier today to learn about their guidelines. This will charge the device and it will upload the information to the server. That's what Starkville police officers do after every shift. They dump their body cam video into a server where it stays for a certain amount of time. It can be viewed by the officer as well as the supervisor, as well as me. So, um, but yeah, we, we uh, maintain those videos for at least 45 days. And if it's a DUI or any kind of a domestic crime, we um, try to preserve those videos for at least a year. The average lifespan for body cam video at the Louisville Police Department is 30 days. The video cameras that we're using have 16 gigabytes of memory. Uh, and, and when the officers are only running the camera when they're in contact with the public, uh, most of the time it's only necessary to download it about once a month. Uh, it, they get about that much run time out of it. The video lifespan is different for both departments, but one thing that's not different is how their body and patrol car cameras work together. Chances are if the officer encounter you and he's within sight, uh, straight line sight of his patrol unit, there's probably two cameras running at the same time. Uh, but then if he's out of sight of his unit inside of someone's home or business or something, and then it's uh, just a body cam. Claiborne says each department adopts its own rules for handling video evidence, and Chief Nichols believes it would be hard to create a one-size-fits-all policy statewide. You'll find out that most of the agencies that are accredited, they have a similar pop policy, but not all agencies are accredited. And those ones that are not accredited, um, you know, they wouldn't have the same policies I would because they might not have the resources that Starkville Police Department has. Mm -hmm. So I think it's a resource thing. Both police departments say body cams are very important because they provide transparency with the public and safety for the officers.